So in this one, I am going to show you how to take off a lawnmower deck. And I was going to replace the one underneath it with this one here. So I was going to show you how to take that off. And I was going to put this one on because it's the same setup and everything like that. And I'll show you the differences between the two decks. And I'll show you the mounting points and everything. This is a Craftsman. Um automatic 42 cut turbo twin cylinder 20 and a half horse i'm surprised it doesn't have anything else written on it like what brand it like not the brand the uh model number uh but it has a briggs and stratton in it twin 20 and a half horse just pick this one up as a grass cutting mower and it just needs a point welded right here right here it just needs this welded up there and I had this 48 inch sitting around and it looks like it would have the same mounting brackets so I figured why not and just do a little swap and I'll record it and show you guys uh, and I'll also show welding and patching if you guys really want to and I'll probably end up making a video on it anyway and posting it because why not show people how to weld a deck if they don't know how to weld or patch a deck so that one will probably be my project deck and i'll show you and work on that one and show you how to change spindles and change uh pulleys and stuff like that on it how to change blades other things like that so there's i'll start off with this side because this side has all the mountain brackets back together. Right here, you would, oh, tools. The tools you would need. Uh, hammer, if you feel a little frisky. Screwdriver and channel locks, vice grips, anything that you really want that clamp can clamp. And all you need to do is just pull the pin right here. Grab it. Uh, grab it and this is the part that I'm supposed to edit but I can't because I'm trying to show you at the same time but I'll edit the whole other side of it there and pull that out and push that off and then there's another one right here too right here you want to take that off too but that is messed up how it's hooked up so I'm just gonna wait on that one and then underneath here There's this right here, and you'll have to pull that one off also. Just get under here and grab her and give her a good yank. And then there she is. And you can see right there, this will just come right off. And there's one right there. This is where the screwdriver comes in. Let me grab it. Uh, the screwdriver comes in and you just get down in here I'm trying to go off of what I see with the camera try to get it in there and give it a nice pull there we go and the hammer is for if this is tight right here you just tap it with the hammer and make it fall through I'm just gonna wiggle it and it should come off hopefully probably not because it's all on camera but another thing I like to do is, if you don't want to use the hammer for it, and let me, like I said, I'm using a camera, and I usually don't do this with a camera, is just get the screwdriver back here and pry it, and that will also work. And, but, I'm just going to cut it, the video, and I'll show you whenever I have the deck removed. But, this right here just pops off and same on the other side of bracket here and a bracket up front and that would be the only one because the one back here there's only on this side so I'll cut back so I know I hit it I heard it hit but I honestly could not tell you where I hit it at 
I do not see any holes anywhere. And I do not really even, oh no, I did hit it. It just, okay. I just didn't go through the metal. I see it now. Cause that wasn't there a little bit ago. That wasn't there a little bit ago. Oh, I see where I hit it. Coolio. Happy 4th of July, guys. Uh, I started it off good. Stepped on that and then there's a hawk. So I got the deck off underneath that. And I looked at the two decks. They will not line up. So. Geez, there's something big in the woods. So I looked at the two. They're not going to line up. Just because of one different thing, which I didn't actually expect, which I remember now because I had a mower just like it. But I forgot they actually made ones like that. Right here. This is going to be a difference. Right here, right where the little lever is. Underneath. There is a cord. It is a cord and not a lever. This goes right into the slit. This goes right into the slit and then there's a little hole for one of these clips to go through so it doesn't back back out. And then that just sits, like I said, you put the cord through here and then you pull it back. There's a little washer on the cord and then you clip it there and then the spring goes right here. And if I was you, I would put the spring on first and then clip everything in and put the clip in and then you would put the side pegs back on and then the front pieces which I have off and like I said I have to re-weld that but the side pieces just go back on so all you do is the reverse of how you take it off and the reason why this one won't work is because there's nothing there for that little uh, wire piece Usually it's just a lever from here to a point back here and whenever you lift this up It moves a lever like this one actually now that I have this one up here There is a lever Because this is the same way Right there see the clip there and the front brackets are the same But there's a beam going across right here Right here, there's a little thing going across. So whenever you lift up on this, it tightens the pulley instead of that cable. The cable is what tightens the pulley. So that is the difference between it. So this deck will not go underneath that. And that's what you need to be careful about because you need to see if there's a cable hookup or just a normal, a normal rod hookup, if you can call it that because I don't know the actual term to it. Cable and then rod. But it has the same lever on each each one. So, I forgot that they actually made the cable attachment for it. So, since I already have it off, I'm just gonna show this one. And so whenever you put it back on, you line this up, you clip it in, you get the back piece, you get it on, you clip it in, and then you get the front piece, you get it on, and you clip it in up there. And your belt, if you did it without taking your belt off, you just wind it back on the front. But if you have to take your belt off, which I'll show on this one since I already have it off, this is your brake right here. This is what moves whenever you engage and disengage your mower deck so whenever you do it you have to move this out of the way and then that comes off like that this just comes off the pulley with these two clips and you just slide them out this one just slides out and then this one just goes around the little board here and then I believe there's another brake pad right here on this so you would have to take this off which is just a uh, one two three went three little bolts right there so and then to put it on you just put this side on like that put this side on clip it and clip it and I would take pictures before you do it 
because like this one, this one's a, a two belt system. There's a belt running on the lower level and then there's an upper level that goes around this one, this one, and then up to the engine, which would be over here. Actually, no, it would be up here. So it would come down from the engine, go down, up, around, and up to the engine. And then since this one moves, it moves the bottom, bottom belt system. So that's how you would take a belly mower off of a tractor.